What's up gamers, it's your boy Epkins again coming back at it with another Bone Lab mod showcase. Uh, for the last one, you guys really decided to knock it out of the park. I gained about 10 subscribers since that video came out in the, about the past 3 days and the video is almost to 500 views. So that is actually pretty insane for a small channel like myself and I... I gladly appreciate you all checking in and just watching the videos. So I'm not going to waste any more of your time here. We're going to get right into it. Starting off, we have the Adam Smasher avatar. Adam Smasher is a character from the game Cyberpunk, and it is a very unique avatar. It is a very strong avatar that is also fast and can also jump. The really cool thing about this avatar is that you can activate the arm cannons that he's had in the game and the show. And basically, so his left arm is machine guns and his right arm is like a rifle shot or like a heavy shot. And so with this avatar, you can basically just ruin moments people are having all you want. Coming in number two, we have the Crablet Pets. The Crablet Pets are a mod that I personally enjoy because the fact I wasn't a big fan of them during my playthrough, but the mod makes them friendly and scared, so the tables have turned. On the serious note, they're just an NPC that comes in different colors and you can mess around with. And you know, they don't try to jump at your face and force you to play VR, so that you got that going for you. Number three is the banana gun. The banana gun is a fun mod because what isn't fun about shooting a banana? The clip is the best part since it's just the stem of the banana, making it really funny to use. Other than that, it's a pretty decent weapon. I think it's just a normal pistol that is modeled to look like a banana, but it's still a funny like weapon to use. At number four, we have the Call of Duty Zombies pack. So it's the ray gun, the perk machines, and the pack a bunch machine. And these are all just classics that I like because I've played Call of Duty Zombies. Um, the perk machines and the pack a punch don't really do anything yet, other than they have like their fog that, like the cold fog that they have in uh, Call of Duty, and they have their jingles, so you can listen to uh, their songs. The ray gun is fully playable and. It has the unique like reload style of putting in the like batteries or whatever they are and then you reload it by opening it and closing it which is kind of really unique for a weapon just because it looks exactly the way it does in Call of Duty. And so that's just it's full of nostalgia for me so I decided to put it in this video. And lastly, but not leastly, we have the portals mod. So basically what this is, it's exactly what you think. They basically have the portal gun and you can shoot portals basically the, the same way from portal one and portal two. The only thing about this mod is that it is a little hard to set up because you have to go and get uh, the melon loader and the bone lib. But other than that, it is pretty much the same as installing all the other mods. So basically what this does is that you place two portals and you can walk through them and yeah, it's exactly like the games. And 
It's really interesting when you fall infinitely just because it's very offsetting. So don't do that unless you could really take VR. And so basically it's just one of the coolest mods that I've uh, come across so far. So that wraps up episode two for uh, the Bone Lab mods. If you do enjoy these videos, uh, make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more and comment mods that you found that I can review and just look at just to kind of branch out a little bit and get you guys involved on all this. So other than that, now all being said, my name is Apkins and I'm signing out and I'll see you all later.